a nigga sliding in a huh? Baby, I'm a boss, I'm talking George Stein, Brenner, Panamera, yo Hey, what's up, family? It is Monday, September 28th, 2015. Just getting back from running some errands right now. I went to Walmart, and then I went to go tanning. And the reason it seems like I'm going tanning all the time right now is because last Monday, the place that I usually go, they sent me an email, and they have a deal going right now. It's like four for $4. So you get four tans for $4, so a dollar each. Um, and I didn't want to pass that up. So I, so that's why it seems like I'm going so often because you gotta use those four in a matter of 10 days. But um, this morning, just getting a lot of work done here on the computer. I uploaded a video. I got uh, a lot of my client emails sent out. And now I am working on updating my website to carry the load of my t-shirt launch that is coming in just a few weeks. So the last thing I wanna happen is me get my t-shirts and then try to update my website. It takes longer than expected, and then I am way behind my original uh, launch date. So what I'm doing right now is prepping my website for the launch. That way, when I do finally get my t-shirts, I just have to make some minor tweaks and some minor changes to different things, and then I will be able to get that launch going live. Still looking at a mid-October release. Um, again, the official launch date, I still I uh, need to get those details worked out, but that's something I'm going to be able to get worked out once I get my website updated, but going to get some more work done, head to dinner, then I've got legs tonight, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so 245 pounds for a set of five on front squats today. Now I probably could have gone a little bit heavier, however I made the mistake of wearing a cutoff on front squat day. And if you guys have ever done front squats with a cutoff or a tank top, then you know two things are going to happen. Number one, your shoulders are going to take a beating from holding that weight up. And two, if you start to get sweaty whatsoever, that weight's going to start slipping down, your grip's going to fail, your form's going to break down and it's just gonna be bad news. So I stopped at 245 pounds, hit that for a set of five, and then got into some accessory work afterwards. I did three sets till failure on leg extensions, then I did three sets till failure on each leg of hamstring curls, and then I did four sets of 20 really slow and controlled reps, a lot of time under tension on my calves to get those babies to grow. But this is going to wrap up this tiny little commentary. There's gonna be another one towards the end of the video, so enjoy the rest of the video until then, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. I truly believe. All right, guys. So home from the gym, watching some UFC 192 countdown, which is Daniel Cormier against Alexander Gustafson for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. That's this Saturday night. Super pumped for this card. Uh, also, Rashad Evans is fighting Ryan Bader. You've got Tyron Woodley fighting uh, 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 Johnny Hendricks, which is going to be a really great fight as well. Super pumped for that card. I will definitely be watching it. But having a post-workout meal right now, which is not ideal, but I've already almost hit my protein mark on the day. I was way low in fat, and I still had a few more carbs to hit. So uh, what I'm having is two slices of Papa John's pizza. I've actually got a third slice back there as well that I'm most definitely going to be heating up as soon as I finish these two. Um, but yeah, not ideal, but I'm bulking. I need to be in a surplus. I'm hitting my protein still. I'm getting my carbs up. And uh, that's the thing with flexible dieting. If you're getting your two, three, four servings of vegetables and fruit each day, you're hitting your macros. You know, every once in a while, you can throw things like this in. So um, that is flexible dieting. That's what it's about. It's not about only eating this kind of stuff, only eating Pop-Tarts, only eating the high sugar, high um, 
just your typical junk food. It's about structuring 80%, I would say 75 to 80% healthy, quote unquote clean, I guess if you want to call it, and then using that other 25, 20% of your caloric intake to get your calories in. So for me tonight, it's pizza. So is it going to kill me? Absolutely not. You guys have seen my physique in my videos. You guys have seen my physique in my Instagram pictures. I am making this work because I'm consistently hitting my macros every single day. But I'm about to eat this now. Watch the rest of this UFC 192 countdown, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Seriously, dude, come on, man. All right, guys, so just got here to the gym. It is Wednesday night. My vlog footage has sucked today. Uh, I think this is probably the first clip I'm actually gonna be able to realistically use for the day. I got a package in the mail, but it was the wrong package, so I did a whole review on something that didn't even work. It was a lens hood for my camera that you guys are seeing right now, which uh, the lens hood would kind of give the screen a little bit more of a vignette look so you'd see a little bit more shadows around the edges but didn't fit my camera so i got to send it back now so the review was kind of pointless but here at the gym now gonna focus and hit some back here we go all right guys so commentary number two hitting back today now back for me has always been a semi strong point so I haven't usually paid a lot of attention to it, but as I prepare for a men's physique show, hopefully next summer sometime, I have been paying a lot of attention to men's physique shows. I've been watching a lot of them. I watched Mr. Olympia Physique. I've watched some IFBB Pro shows, some NPC shows, and the guys that you see placing very high, the guys that you see winning these shows have a lot of thickness, have a lot of width, have incredible V-tapers, their backs are on point. So even though back is a strong point for me, it's something that I still cannot let myself neglect. I still need to be hitting it with a ton of volume. And honestly, guys, if you wanna build a bigger back, a lot of people think that you have to do a lot of fancy things. You gotta do these wide grip pull downs. You gotta do all of these different um, half rep pull ups, different things like that. Honestly, if you want a bigger back, hit full range of motion pull ups, hit time under tension on all your back exercises, throw in a lot of drop sets, a lot of super sets so you're getting that volume in, hit those four main angles, horizontal, diagonal, vertical, and from the ground. I've talked about them a hundred times. If you want your back to grow, do those things. But I ended my workout with some posing practice now. As you can see, I'm about 12 pounds heavier than I was when I started bulking. I haven't totally lost my abs yet. My chest has come up a little bit. I still want it to grow a little bit more. Um, chest has always been a weak point for me. Um, posing for my back, my lat spread is not very good. It's very uneven. I would really like to even that out. Um, this pose for me, um, I'd like to even this one out as well. But for me, that's probably one of my strongest ones. But Honestly, it's a pretty easy pose. If you can't pull off just a normal back flex, then uh, you're gonna struggle a little bit. But again, here's another ab shot. They look pretty good. Um, so this is gonna end the commentary. One more clip, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you guys next time. All right guys, so home from the gym. What I'm doing right now is watching a little Collider movie talk. I'm gonna pause that real quick. Cooking up my chicken in the microwave. Then I've also got an orange monster right here to keep me awake because I've got two papers to write tonight. I've got to edit up this video that you guys are watching right now, have that ready to go in the morning, and it is currently right around 11 o'clock p.m. So I've got to get all that work done that way I can still get a little bit of sleep before I have to go to class at 9 in the morning. But before I end this video, you guys saw a little bit of a posing update uh, at the end of my workout, and a question I get a lot is, dude, how big are your arms? Now, I'm going to put that to rest right now. I want you guys to remember, I'm only 5'8". Right now, I'm bulking. I'm about a hundred, I'm anywhere between 156 and 158 right now. So, I'm not a very big guy. Just proportionally, my arms look decent, I guess. So, I'm going to put that rumor to rest, and we're going to see how big my arms are right now. So, um, it's been about an hour and a half since the gym, so I wouldn't even say I've got a pump anymore, but um, 
what we're going to do right here is measure it up. And if you guys can see that, it's about just under 15 and a half inches. So um, a little under 15 and a half inches is how big my arms are. So you guys can stop asking me, dude, Trey, how big are your arms? And if you guys do want to know, I measured my arms about... The last time I can remember measuring them was around Christmas time, so the end of my last bulk, and they were right around 14 and a half inches, so they've roughly grown an entire inch in about, ten, about nine months since the end of my last bulk, then I was cutting, now I'm bulking again. So I've also put a lot of attention on them. Um, the more attention you give a body part, the more attention you give a muscle group, it's just they're gonna grow so if you guys are trying to get bigger arms you're trying to build a bigger chest whatever you're trying to do hit it with a lot of frequency hit it with a lot of volume and I guarantee you you give it the right amount of food you're gonna grow but uh, this is gonna end the video now hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and if you guys have not subscribed yet go hit that red subscribe button www.trekfisher.com for online personal training and soon to be apparel Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.